you can't be without the things you like, like strawberries or ice cream or good cigarettes or uh, uh, fine wines. The food and the medicines are not only the needs we have. But there are a certain number of things you cannot live without and still be alive. And among them is film. It is the way of dealing with the world and it's magic. And people cannot live without the magic. We are on one place for so long time and it's not natural a uh, way of being, of human beings. We are not the plants. So films lead you into the journey. So you are traveling with the films. People uh, want to be moved. And the film makes you moving even you are at one spot. They lead you towards some other landscapes, mind landscapes. And that, that's very important. Uh, most of the people deny that uh, this war uh, has something to do with the situation in Europe, but uh, they know in their hearts that Europe is the whole. People here feel lonely and uh, frightened. Almost everybody crossed the threshold. Uh, this film uh, tells us about traveling and about dreams, and it means about freedom. And this festival in Sarajevo tell us uh, that freedom exists even uh, beyond the end of the world. Thank you very much. Enjoy the film. I go uh, to watch a movie every day and um, from the per first point it uh, gives me a chance to see another people uh, to see my friends still alive and uh, give me a chance to react my emotions because all of this war I had to hide it deep in myself and now I could cry when I look at the movie. So something is happening and uh, because in this war it's forbidden for you to go out to see another people. Everything is forbidden. 
all this world, I mustn't cry. I always, when I wake up, I say to myself, you have to be carriage. I live in a very dangerous place because of uh, the sniperist, and this is the first front line. And uh, I had uh, the big problem because my mother was paralyzed and she died before one month. We have problems with the pills for mother for food because she needed a good carry, but in a war it's not possible. It's hard, we are hungry. <laughs> I was uh, so bad last summer because I was afraid that my mother uh, would be hungry and now I feel fine and okay, but so much exhausted. Sometimes I'm angry on myself, what is going on with me, but the problem is physically, I have no strength to bring water. Sometimes I bring uh, 50 liters on a day, on a sixth floor, and sometimes the water is not around here. I have to go on top on a hill to bring water. Every day, um, somebody else uh, make your destiny. Chetniks make our destiny. In a piece, uh, I can stay all the night and draw, but now I can't, no. I'm trying to finish my faculty. Uh, I study architecture. I have uh, a few exams and I will finish my final project and get well, my is. diploma. My father is blind and uh, he never go out from the house from the beginning of the war. It's terrible. Marietta, do oggi. Eh, sai, ma tutto completo. Uh, it was uh, a park near our buildings and uh, we wanted to to prepare ground for spring uh, to put uh, some vegetable just for surviving.
I'm sorry, I suppose it's not dangerous. <laughs> In a piece, I, I like to watch the movie and uh, I saw many stories and uh, I thought that couldn't be in reality. But my life now is uh, more worse than on a movie. Now I can believe that uh, this Eva could happen to me, that uh, I will be in a war, I will lose my mom in a war, I will fight for the food, for the water, that I will be hungry, thirsty, and uh, to lose your friends, it's possibility to die, to be paralyzed for life. Terrible. Muss ich sowas mal für die Menschen vorstellen? Ist jemand schon lange tot? Aber wir können ihn immer noch sehen. Das gibt ein riesiges Durcheinander. Es ist 7.28 Uhr und in den zwei Minuten hören Sie den Wetterbericht des Deutschen Wetterdienstes. Moin. Moin. Hallo, Oma. Frühstück fertig? Ja. 